Hi everybody, we are back again with another video. And in today's video, I am joined by my students, Parbhuti and Shubhadra. Thinking in English is a very, very popular query. And a lot of times what happens like when we come from a different background and we want to speak English, there is a translation going on in our head. We always translate from our mother tongue into English. And that's why we are not able to speak English effortlessly. So today we are going to deal with this particular query to be precise. And uh, I have my students with me. So I know how to do it. Like I have been doing it for a long time. I have been practicing thinking in English for a long time. And things that I've taught my students, they are going to share those things with you guys. So stick around and uh, just watch this video till the last second. I would like to ask Parvati, you have been learning English for a while. Thinking in English is the only solution to be able to sound effortless. So can you please share the kind of tactics you follow? in doing the thinking in English thing effortlessly? Well, first of all, thank you so much after a long time to provide me with that opportunity. So when it is about thinking in English, only one thing comes to me, which is make an environment around you. Now, how is that possible? My father speaks in my mother tongue. My mother doesn't speak in English. How is that possible? How can I make it? Every one of us, we I've got that query. But the thing is that we, if we can notice how a, how a child acquires language, he or she gets used to it, that environment. Initially, he or she doesn't know how to speak. He or she doesn't know how to think or how to build, build up a con, like sentence structure. So as the environment goes on, as the environment teaches them, they learn how to speak in their mother tongue. So in such a way, in initial level, we are like that child. We have to create an environment. So matter of the fact is that environment, to be very honest, environment is not going to change for you. You have to be the changed version. Every single day, you have to look for the tactic. Now, it's really easy to listen to others what he follows, what she follows. But the thing is that the reality comes out the, from authenticity. What tactic I can follow? Now, I've heard thousands of people, maybe I'm exaggerating, but no, I've heard some people who I have got some suggestions from that, okay, if I will follow this, if I will follow that, then I'll be doing that. But no, then I started researching on myself what actually I do feel like doing when it is about thinking in English. And I found out that I have to create that environment. I have to make that ambience for me, which is going to help me in order to think in English. Now, so the thing is that, you know, it's not that easy. Now I can read books. I can listen to several videos in English in order to think in English. And here my second point begins that we have to be aware with thinking in English. When we are thinking, it's really, really hard to rectify those subtle mistakes. Because you know what happens? Let's say you're speaking in English, you're speaking in English. Somewhere you'll find out that, okay, this is something, let's say I know it in my mother tongue, but how can I pronounce it? How can I, how can I change it in English? So this awareness is really important. Most of the time what happens that I've observed that, you know, when we find out our mistake, we feel as if, oh my goodness, I have made a mistake. Uh -huh. But when we are aware of it, this is the time when we are getting matured. Or I think uh, you have said it so rightly, but I think, you know what, like, let's say you are going to learn a new technique. Mm -hmm. Every time you learn a new technique, thinking in English is a new technique for you. Yes. You are going to stop yourself from thinking in your mother tongue and then translating it into English. You are going to stop this entire thing mm. and whenever you are going to start something new like thinking in English as you said, it takes time and you go and you go slow. Mm. And when learners go slow, they think they are ineffective. Yes. They are not learning anything. Yes. So 
I think it is very important for the learners to understand that going slow is not bad, but going wrong with speed is bad. Now, I'm telling you what actually is going on in your head right now. That, oh, you people have been practicing for a long time. That's why it's really easier for you. Yes, it is hard. But acceptance that it is hard, but I'm not going to get away from it. And the third point starts that I have to get stick to thinking in English. I have applied those methods that I have to read, I have to speak, I have to uh, listen to several videos. Then the second thing, I have to be aware where I'm thinking in my mother tongue and I have to stop thinking, I have to take a pause in between that, okay, here I think I'm about to think in my mother tongue, so I have to be aware. And third thing comes when I have to get stick to with that process that it doesn't happen overnight as all of us we know it very well it is not only about speaking in english it is also about it is applied on everything whatever we try to do we have to be really committed to it you know i, I learned this word from my new environment that i have to be committed to the particular work whatever i'm doing that i'm ready to give my hundred percent until and unless i acquire this i'm going to be the partner of it i'm going to be with it and uh, till my last breath so i think these are the three things for me i follow i try to follow sometimes yes absolutely we are the human being mistakes are the mandatory part of our life so we cannot don't judge yourself that i'm making mistakes so what people will be thinking it is our common problem that we judge ourselves very easily so stop judging yourself and think what you can apply you have to listen to your trainer, you have to listen to people, those who are speaking English. But simultaneously, you also have to think that, okay, probably this method is not going to work for me. This method instead, which I think is going to work for me. Whatever method is it, it doesn't differ how you are going to speak. So yes, that's the thing. I so guys, you have heard Parvati saying a lot of things. First point, as far as I can remember, was environment. You have to have a proper environment now the very basic questions that every one of us comes up with it is I don't have suitable environment most of my students tell me my parents don't speak English my neighbors don't don't speak English how can I practice English in that environment it is a very wrong thinking and most of the time with this kind of thinking we limit ourselves it is very important that we focus on what I can do about the situation rather than what situation is presenting me. You know, so the environment is not going to be perfect for you. No environment, no day is perfect for us. Nothing is perfect for us to be precise. We have to make things perfect according to our need. Second thing that Parvati said was amazing. She said, it is about awareness. Let's say you have been speaking English for a long time and your pattern is translation if you want to change from translation to thinking in english guys it takes time you are learning a new thing it takes time every change is difficult and it is difficult that's why it's worth doing so if you are going to change anything you need to you need to be aware why is awareness important guys it is important because Every time you are following the old pattern, you are accustomed to it. And for that reason, to go with the wrong pattern is easy. So if you don't make yourself aware of the thing that you are doing, you can't get accustomed to the new thing. So it's very important for you to press that switch of awareness. And then you understand that you are improving in English. Third thing Parvati talked about was commitment. I really agree with whatever she said. Commitment is really important. It's not about today I'm feeling very motivated and I have seen so many videos where people were speaking in English and now I'm going to change myself. If tomorrow these things do not appear, I'm not going to do it. This fickle mindedness is dangerous if you want to learn anything in life. So commitment is important. I have committed myself into doing it, meaning that's it. As she said, like till the last breath, you're going to do it. That is the commitment. Thank you so much, Parvati, for all the things you have just told us. And guys, I have repeated her points because 
I wanted to understand what she said, right? And that's why I have repeated these things myself. Now, I want uh, Shubhadra uh, to tell us something about your technique, the techniques you follow in order to be uh, thinking in English. So, thank you so much for this question. It's a wonderful question for us to how to think in English. So, in my opinion, it is not a part-time job that we are taking. It is our full-time job and simultaneously when we do some work like thinking English, practicing English, it's a part of our spoken English. So if I talk about my tricks, my tips, it would be so many things. Whenever I practice at home, I'm in a room. I try to just elaborate what is here in the room but when i when i am in a different kind of environment i have so many things to talk about i have so many new things that i have never talked about before as far as i know that whenever we hesitate we are not able to share what actually our inner self wants to say as my sister said that most of the time we feel that what people will think what i will be facing after that when we treat ourselves like this that yes it is this it is not that situation to communicate with verbally but i may do with our mind that is very very important and if we want to learn spoken english so i think it's a great point and it's a great tips for us to think in english because the more we think the more we can learn the more we can speak so i think there are so many things that we may do in order to think in english the most valuable thing that we can apply whatever we listen listening is a very important part when we think in english because what happens when we try to translate something it takes much time to elaborate our thought but when we listen somebody's speech then it becomes very easy to copy that sentence because it doesn't mean that i'm i'm always copying others if you copy her or his speeches then your speaking will become more effortless that is very very important we need to do the one thing to motivate ourselves through in our action what actually we are doing if we motivate ourselves with the action then we can easily motivate we can easily become a flawless speaker we can learn so many things we need to say ourselves i can do it i can do it uh, until i finish the work we have to say ourselves that i can do it well uh, when i was listening to her when she was talking about you know hesitation i came in contact with recent post probably it is uh, either by louis house or by tim ferris where that person was describing getting a, a butterfly which is getting out of a co cocoon now what the i would love to elaborate it which is that you know everything takes its time now we think that oh i'm not able to get out of my hesitation i'm not able to get out of my hesitation but where we make mistake we in like in order to get into that rush we literally try to do it fast mm -hmm. and fa doing it f because we try to do it fast we are snatching its you know uh, what to say right to take time to get healed step by step like step by step move by move so the thing is that you are going fast it doesn't necessarily mean you are going to be effortless you are going to be effective so what this particular post literally hit me with that you know what happens if you are trying to help the butterfly get out of that cocoon cutting that cocoon then you are literally spoiling the whole process you're not letting the butterfly to be free with its own work with its own effort you're making the process more difficult for that butterfly that little word that butterfly will not be able to fly most of the time the butterfly dies absolutely when we when we try to cut the natural process so we have to take the time when we will be trying that no i need something you know in a hurry in a rush i i don't want to follow that process so everything follows a step so you have to follow those steps you have to follow those each and every one of the stairs so that's how the process goes on so don't just try to be in rush just try to let the process make you free of that hesitation or whatever you're trying to get out of 
so what more can i say everything has been said uh, everything has been described by both the sisters uh, parvati and shobhadra so i was listening to parvati and uh, she was she was uh, sharing a story of a uh, butterf- butterfly getting out of a cocoon and the point is that sometimes our good intention harms us we don't understand that we think that i just have to go fast patience is very important when it comes to learning anything effectively and effortlessly if we think that you know i am very tired today okay you are tired but what about tomorrow tomorrow you are going to get a fresh page and you can write whatever you want to but most of the time as shubhadra mentioned procrastination laziness if my method failed on day before yesterday meaning my method is not going to work today that's our wrong thinking right we just need to come up with new efforts new strategies this time we are doing this video guys trust me we are not in the mood of doing this video when we are shooting this video it is around 11 am and we started our class from 8 am 8 am to 10:30 like then we decided to shoot a video so we are not in the right frame of mind but we are doing it why because this is our responsibility we have to do it if we want to keep our youtube thing going on you have to apply this analogy in your personal life of learning english some days you feel very lethargic you don't feel like doing anything but you have to remind yourself of the responsibilities you have there are people on internet claiming they will make you fluent speaker in just 21 days don't listen to all this bullshit if anything comes very easily goes very easily so you just need to understand this thing if you want to make it permanent give your permanent time guys this is so important so hope thinking in english has been discussed by us in detail so that you people can get something out of this video and uh, we are so happy you are just uh, you people are making our community uh, bigger every day and keep showering love like this please hit the like button if you think this kind of videos should be uploaded on our channel and hit the subscribe button and uh, till then you take care keep practicing keep thinking in english till then you take care bye